Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am going to show you what to do when a customer walks into your store with their item they want to return, but they've thrown away their receipt. So what do you do? Well, there's several things you can do, but today we're gonna cover looking up the customer and finding their receipt and making a return. Before we jump into that, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions about errors or workflows or training. Other people such as myself and other Point of Sale store owners will answer your questions totally free of charge. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. Let's get into doing this. I've got a customer and her name is Sylvia. She's walking in and she she wants to return, I don't know, something, we'll find out. And she doesn't have her receipt. So I go to my customer list, as you see there, and we got Sylvia Smith right here. You're gonna hit the show details pane over here and find the history section. So she's a good customer. She's come a few times to our store and uh, you can just browse through her receipts here and try and figure out what it is she has. Let me go down a little bit. Oh, come on now. Uh, let's say you might ask her like, when did you come in? You might look at the date here and find historically. Otherwise, if she really can't figure it out, like what date it was, you can actually double click on these and it will show you the entire receipt. And if you need to go through the history a bit and open multiple different receipts, you may have to do that and try and figure out where her product is. Let me get back there. We gotta hit the back button to get back to her. And go up and we're gonna choose this one. Sales receipt with a beeswax candle for 2074. And so if you've identified that this is the actual receipt that you need to do the return on, uh, we're gonna hit back. And you're gonna have to use this little slider here and we can see that the document number here is 67. Do you see that in the upper right? 67. So we still have Sylvia Smith highlighted on our customer list and we are going to hit the accept return button. It is then going to show us all of the different receipts that Sylvia has had with us along with the document number and also the historical date. So this should be pretty easy to narrow down. I'm gonna choose number 67 because we identified it there. And there we have the product. She bought four of these, she's actually returning two. So I'm gonna type in two for the return quantity. We're gonna add the selected items. Now this customer is assigned a 3% discount. You may, this is, this is an extra, thing with a membership level and a discount level. Uh, this discount will be taken off the active price level. Do you want to, if she bought with the 3% discount, then you're going to want to apply the 3% discount. You're going to want to say yes. <clears throat> and that should be fine. Rewards program, forget about it. All right, that was some extra fluff. You're probably not gonna see those pop-ups in your point of sale because those are special circumstances. But if she indeed bought this with a 3% discount, you're gonna wanna include that. And there you have it. We have our return receipt here. We looked up the customer and we looked up their receipt even though they did not have the receipt in their hand. And now we would save and print and that would give them their cash back or whatever method you're doing the return to. And you're all done. You got a return receipt right here for her beeswax candles and you hand that to her. And we've done it. We've returned it with no receipt. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this is an excellent video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave a comment. I'd be happy to respond back to you. You have an excellent day now from BlackRock Business.